everyone. Ross here from RC Welding. Hope you guys are all having a great day. It's uh, Sunday afternoon here in Ontario and uh, I'm at the shop. I'm just getting things organized for uh, this week coming up because that's the life of being self-employed. You got to stay on the grind and uh, do your work and get things done out the door, new jobs, old jobs. Uh, you know how it is for those of you guys that are self-employed. There's never a day where we actually get off where we're not thinking about our work. So uh, if you're that type of person, you'll know where I'm coming from. Uh, I'm making this video because I got a new uh, a new shop toy, which I've never owned in my life. I did, You know what, as silly as it sounds, 20 years of being in business, I had no idea that they made uh, chop saws with the metal blades specific for metal blades. I had uh, Mastercraft, uh, a little old saw that I'm actually getting rid of, this 3800 RPM over here. Where is it? Right here, this old guy right here on the floor. We're gonna be getting rid of that soon. I'm gonna be listing it on Kijiji. And uh, I, I had no idea that you had to get a specific saw to use metal blades. I ended up buying one of those Diablo uh, metal steel blades to cut with that saw and uh, I didn't realize that it, it doesn't work the RPMs don't match up that's like a 3500 RPM and uh, those Diablo blades are 1800 max so uh, after doing my research I stumbled across a uh, chop saw that uh, I ended up purchasing and uh, I'll tell you why actually so here's the it's an evolution rage 2 and the reason why I bought this particular saw is it came with a blade and it cuts literally every material uh, that you could possibly think of from stone to wood with uh, nails in it to steel, rebar, solid steel, plastic. It's an amazing saw. And uh, I had no idea that uh, these particular saws existed because I was always used to using my band saw, which is back over here behind the Evolution saw that I'm about to show you guys. I've been using this all my life, and whenever I had to cut angles and degrees, I would use my chop saw uh, with just a regular, um, I forgot what the saws are called, the blades are called, but uh, like those compound saw blades. So I ended up uh, getting this the other day. I went online and I was looking at a couple of them. I was interested in getting the DeWalt, uh, specific for cutting steel, but it was like $700 Canadian. And I didn't want to break the bank. So I ended up uh, looking around Home Depot and they had this. This was $313, regular $350. There was a, a sale. So I ended up getting it for a sale price. And you know what, guys? Dollar for dollar, this thing is amazing. Now, I can't compare it to the DeWalt because I've never owned the DeWalt. I'm only comparing it to uh, that old Mastercraft over there on the floor that I was using the regular saws. And uh, it's like day and night. So I I'm going to show you guys a quick clip of how this thing cuts. Okay, so here we are. We have a piece of 2x2 two two aluminum uh, steel, a uh, mild steel. Uh, with a 1 8 wall. We're going to cut it with the saw and we're going to time it and see how long it takes to cut with this blade and this particular saw. I have a couple of things I'm not crazy about this saw that I'm going to talk about when we're done cutting. Where's my safety helmet? Okay, I don't know where my safety helmet is right now, but I've got these old sunglasses. I'm gonna put them on and I'm gonna look the other way. But let's look to see how long it takes, okay? Now this thing is 1350 RPMs. It's very slow. Did you see how fast that cut? 
I think it was like three seconds. We're going to time it. Oh, sorry, I'm going to put a timer on it when I edit this video. But look at the cut. Look how clean that is. It's cold. It's not hot at all. And uh, it cuts very, very clean and leaves minimal burr. So uh, let me go ahead and show you what this saw actually uh, features it as, things I like and things I don't like about it. But uh, for the value, it's definitely worth it. Okay, so this piece slips right in here. There's two sides. So you've got the shorter side where it allows you to put square tubing like this. See how it touches? And then there's the other side, which I believe is for bigger material. See how it doesn't touch? So you can flip it over that way. And this way you could cut uh, bigger material. So I really like this saw. But uh, with that being said, the only drawbacks that I'm not crazy about are how there's no quick release over here and how this is a chain lock. It doesn't have uh, the, the button to close it up. The other thing that it came with was extra brushes. Now, I don't know if all these saws come with extra brushes or if it's just this one. My concern is, is that the brushes burn out quick on these motors or the motor itself might burn out eventually and then I'm stuck having to replace this saw in uh, two, three years from now because I will be using it uh, aggressively every day while I'm doing my work here at the shop. So I really need this thing to stand up uh, to the test of time. Otherwise, I'm not too concerned about uh, those little issues that we talked about, the latch and the chain in the back. Uh, for 300 bucks, you know, 313 bucks, you can't go wrong. I didn't want to blow the budget on buying a DeWalt at 699 here in Ontario. And, uh, you know, I just want to get something entry level to get into the game. And uh, down the road, if I want to upgrade, I'll get, a, I'll get a DeWalt. But I don't even know if I need to upgrade. I, I've never heard of Evolution. This is the first time when I went to Home Depot and I saw they had this brand and uh, I'm giving it a try. So we'll see if, uh, if, if it holds up. I don't know, maybe uh, six months from now or a year from now, we'll do another review and see how it's holding up. But otherwise, you know what guys? Bang for your buck, this is a good saw, especially if you're you're starting off with a welding shop and you don't have a band saw or you don't have a, a good chop saw, go out and spend a few hundred bucks, get yourself this, and you can use it to cut all your stock. Great little machine. So that's my opinion. You guys can form your own opinion when you buy it and see if it's something you want to get into. Uh, but as far as I'm concerned, it's a great saw, man. Anyways, hope you guys like this video. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks, guys. Have a